will leave things here. But I should buy some more food. That'll do us. Great. Keep going. We just have people idle. I don't have to set them to an activity. We'll set them to an activity. Alright. It's nice to only have to worry about changing the jobs of six people, as opposed to my, the entire liberal crime squad. Now a tank is coming. Yeah, Merry Christmas. Surrender yourselves, you're wanted for first-degree murder and other crimes. It's probably an exaggeration. Elitist Vicky Hudson from the newspaper County Take got into the compound. It's worth another Pulitzer. Virtually everyone is moved by Grimace's words. How could they not be? Happy New Year! Corporate files describing a genetic monster created at a lab. It's bound to get the corpse a little riled up. The president still has veto power, but a national convention has proposed an elite liberal amendment. In light of the conservative nature of entrenched politicians and the corrupting influence of incumbency on the democratic process, all members of the House of Representatives and Senate shall henceforth be limited to one term in office. This shall be immediately enforced by holding elections to replace all members of Congress upon the ratification of this amendment. Due to my font thing and display of the window and... I don't exactly want to set it off of that and break it by going to the properties. We don't get to see the names of all the states here, but we should still get to see the yeas or nays. We do. Close. Not enough impact yet, but close. We hand out a few more Pulitzers, though. We'll see where the road takes us, yeah? Why don't we actually, well, actually, we have Dorote sitting there. Quality character that she is. Let's have you search opinion polls. And while I'm thinking about it, there's other people that I wanted to potentially serve us in the Liberal Crime Squad as active characters, and I want to... I want to make sure I have their names set. Jeremiah here. We call him... We're actually going to use different nomenclature for him. We're going to call him Mr. Churchill. Yes. No, let's not. Because I'm going to see two names there, and I'll just gloss right over it. <laughs> Jeremiah. <laughs> Uh, Znat here. Znat with the three health probably won't be hit. I mean, you know, probably won't happen. Dylan. Gobs of nah, Dylan. We're cool. All right, that's fine. Sing all Lang Syne, twenty eleven, right on in through the siege. Yes, so we've really impacted the issues. We've really swayed public opinion. Had we made this much of a difference uh, before the November midterms hit, oh, uh, oh, uh, it would have been gross. As it stands, though, we've got folks proposing amendments to the Constitution. And we're not far from having the states ratify that. Just gotta keep the work going. So the issues that people don't care about, industry should lower pollutions there. Which means I have an idea for what I'm gonna be hitting up next. There's also some weakness there with torture and liberal justices, but by and large. And you better damn believe folks respect my power. My power. Oh. <laughs> I was wondering. I was like, man. 
the country has just flipped its shit. Like, when are they going to show up? No. Honolulu, Hawaii. A group of worthless M16 toting hicks. Hmm. Calling itself the Conservative Crime Squad went on a rampage yesterday, according to a spokesperson for the police department. The events took place at the Richard Dawkins Food Bank. The CCS, if you don't have them start immediately, spring up as a response to what the fuck country? <laughs> and, you know, if they don't self-destruct and combust to just go on rampaging things, they can harm you. Uh, you don't have to defeat them in order to win the game, uh, but they will gun for you. They don't take prisoners. They want to destroy the Liberal Crime Squad. You can destroy them back, though. We may end up doing that in this run. Remember, the truth is always free. I should set you off of that. It's been fun. Go back to writing for the Liberal Guardian. We're just killing time here. The cops are coming! As long as they're wanting this group of six, they're not after the others, so that's good. You're about to engage conservative forces in battle. So I am. So I am. A non-trapped group. Lamentable. We'll glide right on past. And move on. Hopefully we didn't take too much time there. Now we're good. Shot out one of the soldier's teeth. Muttered something good about Jesus. You're done. Fresh M16s for the house. Candace even leveled up. Rifle skill. Great. Buy ourselves a new flag. Ta -da! Now the conservative crowd squad could show up at any moment. Kick the door in. Not just here. But they could show up at the other place too. We're going to want... We're going to want to get sleepers uh, in the Conservative Crime Squad. At the very least, we want a map. Say map, which means that psychology would be useful to acquire. Do I want to do that right now? No. What I want to do is show up at the chemical factory where they're making Mega Mac. I mean, on the one hand, like, I could sell these weird chemicals. On the other hand, they're not worth much of anything. So we're just gonna take a pass on that. He says as he changes his mind promptly and goes to pick them up any damn way. These folks are armed with lengths of chain? Yeah. We'll walk away from them. They'll sound the alarm. Hello there, sir. Would you be interested in running the fuck away? Good. Glad we could have this conversation. How about you? Would you too be interested in running? Because we're the liberal crime squad. And as we know, according to our own polling, everyone respects the power of the Liberal Crime Squad. Uh, plus or minus six points. Praying won't help you now. But dying might. We can only kill you once. Huh? <laughs> what a tempting offer, right? Like, I mean, I can only kill you once. Cameron! Swung at me with a chain! Better dead than liberal. Well, congrats, bro. Grimith. Praying won't help you now. Sydney, you get out there too. Reinforcements are coming. They're gonna need them. Cameron. Die, you conservative dogs. Hmm. Way to, way to go. Shooting the other... other... What, whatever. 
Your choice. Took a lot of work to kill a gang unit, but we did. Father, why have you forsaken me? Ooh, group of five. Gonna take some damage here. Yep. City there gets nailed. 19 health, though. Holds on, but is near death. Woof. That's a rough one, for sure. That sucks. We'll reload everyone. Ugh. Oh. I was about to say, like, damn, there's no way Sydney's surviving that. All the people to target again at Sydney. Well, take a drink. 19 health. Sydney whines loudly, voice crackling, then curls into a ball, unmoving. Grimoth hauls Sydney. You sons of bitches. Interesting collection of folks after us. The bright side, Sydney is serving even in death. By protecting the founder. Should, uh... Lamentable things transpire. But yeah, like... Like, it was the, the best person to be attacked there with the first attack. But when the second one landed right on Sydney too, No reasonable way Sydney was going to dodge that being near death. Like, it, it scores in the trash. Let's slam the brakes. Don't want to hit the kid. We could have probably swerved around, but it's okay. We'll slam the brakes again. We'll slow down. We'll fight. We'll finish this off. Grimoth has promoted, promoted Melvinny Clark due to the death of Sydney. Polluter hit. The Liberal crime squad has struck again. The events took place at the notorious chemical factory, a factory whose conservative smokestacks choked the city with deadly pollutants. The Liberal crime squad engaged in combat with conservative forces, liberated enemy resources, damaged enemy infrastructure, and picked locks. Conservative operatives engaged in a reckless pursuit of the LCS. Meanwhile, the CCS went on a rampage at the Research Ethics Commission headquarters. So... Melvany is Melanie, I reckon. And I read Melvany. No, no, no. Melvany there uh, took place on the food chain. That's cool. That happens. Damn. An unfortunate loss. We have the dead here, Sydney. Single tier. It happens, but still. Liberal guardians here. I mean, we've had losses before. <laughs> but this one. This loss hurts more. That was our, our machine gun totem 19 health badass. Only Lee has more health in this group. That means someone else is going to have to pick up the mantle of wielding that thing. And that's going to be Candace here. So Candace, you get the new gun. I'm going to give you the new gun, though, after having you take care of something very important. You're going to bury the dead. Who do I want to come over? 
Let me review the active here. We have you, Ian, and Kate. I think I don't want to bring someone in like for charisma. That sounds like it. Well, it's not like I'm infiltrating shit at this point, right? <laughs> it's not like that's really a thing that's transpiring. <laughs> It's true. It's not. Let's bring over Ian. Ah, uh, he says before he has a flashback to Fallout 1. <laughs> Let's not say we did. Assign bases to the squad list. You're coming over. We've got a spot for you. Shaking my head in dismay. Well, it happens. You engage in combat with enough folks. Don't down them all. And those shots just land right there at the same person. A pity. A pity. It's okay. It'll be okay. I like how glum I am now. <laughs> actually the first person we've properly had to martyr. Someone was around to martyr, Sydney. Okay. Let us make the Liberal Crime Squad whole again by bringing this locksmith in to the equation. Yes. Make sure that you have the proper ammunition. Well, that was a ringing endorsement. And get your ass in the vehicle. Your skills aren't as good as the others. You're going to learn. Um, I'm going to have Lee teach infiltration, urban warfare, and you will teach infiltration. Plenty of teaching going on, Candace. You return, you've buried him. You will now take up the M249. Now you wield it as well as Sydney did. You're going to have to learn on the job, though, because <laughs> Sydney was the only one with any meaningful skill in that. Griffith has a whopping point three three. All right, I didn't even assign you to a job. A screeching truck pulls up to Smith Auto Insurance. CCS members pour out of their truck and shoot in the front doors. Meanwhile, back at the ranch. You receive advance warning from your sleepers regarding imminent police raid on Thomas Solutions. We cannot pass time until a siege is resolved, which is at the other location. We should be able to escape and gauge here just fine. They're raiding. Um, I think it'll auto-assemble a team for me. Yeah, it should auto assemble a group. We can. Yeah, we just have it auto assemble. Yeah. These are the folks who are together. Um, they don't have armor against the conservative crime squad. They're gonna have to earn their armor. Never mind that I've had plenty of sets of armor laying around. They also don't have great skill either. But that's okay. Got ourselves a CCS team leader kill. Great. Uh, heavy body armor. Who gets that? I believe I am going to give that to Cheryl there. Okay. Let's move on. At least there's more than six liberals here, so, you know, you've got firepower in the background contributing. Great! This is our... the team that was forged, that was built in hellfire and brimstone and what the fuck ever else. 
whatever other playful creative names you want to assign. That's right, the conservative crime squad showed up. They had had enough of our shit. But we were ready for them. Auto insurance defense, I like it. It's a good name. Uh... I promptly lose my train of thought. <laughs> That's not dangerous. So I can't auto-flip items between locations now. If I want to keep the stuff I've put in the shelter, in the shelter. Man, this is a hard life. I want to bring over M16s, and I want to bring over any army body armor. And assault rifle mags. Okay. That'll be fine. You folks can keep that. No, wrong location, Grim. No wonder you were confused. Equip all y'all with some fresh ones. Put army body armor on people, and then this damaged army body armor on people. Okay. Good. Take care of everyone's ammo. Good. That's fine. And now... Review people. Yes. Not there. Two, two, two. One, two, three. Then it's Marge, Lynette, Teresa. Yes. So beyond that, we have Melvany, whose equipment we should change. Go ahead and give you a more loaded one. We'll give you some, this is basically going to take us out for the rest of this video. I'm going to take care of equipment for folks. All right, great. Victoria, this would be also a bit quicker if I assigned everyone to a squad. I don't feel like making new squads and then dismantling the new squads. So we're here now. If you didn't know that this functionality was a thing either, well, now you know. Despite the fact that I've shown it off earlier in this series, you also have, yeah, you also have enough ammo, of course. Tiffany, you have plenty of ammo. Okay, whip yourself some new armor. Fred. You can have some armor, too. Damage, though it may be, it's better protecting you than clothes. Now that you folks should be getting into combat interactions, but you know, some folks might die in the main defense squad of six, and you'll be shuffled up. Just make sure you don't get lost in the shuffle. Alright. Another one. A shank. Equip your nine. Get you some army body armor. That'll do. And finally, Dylan here. Also has a shank. Ah, group management. One compelling reason to not have large squads. Well, large numbers in the Liberal Crime Squad. You know what I mean. I'm gonna let a day pass. Although I might have to deal with another siege before the video end. No! No! But it's coming! It's coming. Unless I avoid it with my incredible jukes.